So Sen and welcome to project 61 of this course. So in this video, we are going to be creating this sidebar animation project by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So now let's suppose if I just click on this sidebar, so don't allow just open this sidebar and here you can see this rotation. Okay, so this is what we are going to be building by just using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So without wasting any further time, now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code. First of all, let me just create a folder given name of like O61 oh, of sidebar animation and now inside this folder let me just create three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be just style.css and the third one will be app.js let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can just focus on our code all right so let me just write a doc type html and here i want to change the name of it to like um sidebar animation and now let's just link it with our css file and also with our JavaScript file as well. Now let me just hide this metadata from there. Right click on it and open with a live server, okay? So now we open our project with a live server. The next thing which you have to do is to get our, and now here, let me just write like a font awesome, font awesome, and it will now give us our font awesome. So now let's just copy that CDN from there. All right, so now we have this font awesome. Now I'm gonna just click on this copy link tag, and now let's say bye-bye to this one, and past our CDN, underneath the title and above or link tag okay so now let me just copy this metadata from there let me just write i f a s f a times server file and here you can see we get this x sign right here okay so that's that now the next thing that you have to do is, is first of all let's just remove them so for html we are going to be writing a div with the class of sidebar and also the id of sidebar as well okay so inside there we are going to be writing a ul then li and then inside this li we are going to have our anchor tag so now let's just write like um maybe five of them so i'm going to just write five and now it will go to nowhere so we have home we have about we have our portfolio and we also have our projects and we have a contact us and it should be projects okay so this will be it for the ul and underneath this ul we're going to be writing a button with the class of menu and also the id of menu okay so inside these buttons we are going to be creating uh or icon so now let's just paste our icon there so we are going to be writing like fas fa then times okay so this will be that and now underneath that we are going to be writing fs then fa bars okay so server file and now here you can see we get this um these two buttons right here okay all right so that's that now underneath this div tag we are going to be writing our content uh, div so now let me just write a content div with the class of content and also the id of content as well and now let me just write a container inside this content and inside this container we are going to be writing like h1 of register with us with come on with us all right now let's just create a form let's just remove that action attribute from there and now let's just write our label and this label will go to nowhere okay and now let's just write our labels like name and here we are going to be providing our s symbol so now let's just give him a class of special and remove this empty space from there so i'm going to copy it and then i want to just write like input with a uh, type of text now let me just paste this one in there and write an email then next input will be email now let's just remove this id and these stuff from there paste it one more time then we have password and now let me just write a password in here and also let me just confirm our password i guess that will not be necessary but we're going to be still writing that and now let's just write a password like so we check our browser and this is how we get our things right here all right so i think that would be it for html so now let's jump right into our css and now let's just style that a bit so for html first of all i'm going to select everything provide a box sizing of border box red margin will be zero padding will be also zero underneath that let me just write our body now inside this body we are going to be writing our background color of let me just write a color of 4 4b 4b and 4 or b come on let me just paste this hash in there all right so this will be the first background color and now let's just start a font family and now let's just change this to sans serif and we have perspective not prefix perspective will be just like a thousand pixels server file 
and this is how it looks like right now okay so now let's just get our content which is this content right here okay now let me just get that and provide it right here and now let's just write a little bit of styling for that like background color will be just like uh one b one b one b and yeah i guess three times one b would be fine now let's just provide our border on of one pixel solid and that same one b kind of stuff now let's provide our position of relative to it padding bottom will be just five frames and now let's just write our transform origin and it will be now equals to center and left okay so now let's just write the finally or transition so we are going to be providing our transition to our transform 0.3 seconds and ease in and out okay so once we save it and this is how it looks like right now so we are going to be providing our stuff but first of all let me just write a class for javascript okay so if our content container is active so we want to change the transform property of translate x to 200 pixel and now you want to rotate it to the y axis of 20 degree okay so that's that the next thing which you have to do is to get our container which is inside this content class so now let me just get my container and now let's just put a max width of like uh, 500 pixel and now the margin will be zero auto because we want everything to be perfectly center margin top margin top will be just like seven rim and background will be um i don't know uh let me just write 29 uh 29 29 and 29 okay so this will be the background color now let's just check the change the text color to be totally white and this is so far <laughs> looking like all right so the next thing that you have to do is to get these headings right here and then just put a little bit of space bottom to it so now let me just get our container of h1 and now let's just provide a margin bottom to be like five frames save it and now we get our little bit of spacing right there all right so now the next thing that you have to do is to just start styling our form right here this form okay and which is currently looking like this but now let's just style that a bit so i'm gonna just first of all write a display of flex on it and then we have a flex direction which will be column justify corner will be center severed and everything is looking like this still ugly so now let's just get our label first of all so i'm gonna just get my form and labels so uh, we are going to just provide like a margin bottom of five pixel on it and then let me just write a form and then let's just select all of our inputs right here so we are going to be just changing like the margin bottom will be just equal to two rem and also we have outline of none and the height now let me just give a height of like 30 pixels and the padding will be just 15 pixels save it and this is how it looks like but now let's just add a little bit of padding around them so let me just go to my container and underneath this you know underneath this margin bottom and margin top let's just put our padding of five rims save it and this is now looking cool so you know what we are going to be just styling or this uh, extra symbol right here so now let's just change the color of it to something else okay so underneath this input label or you know what underneath this uh, form label i'm gonna just select there then label now let's just select our special class okay so now let's just change the color to be just this hexadecimal color so here you can see now we have this kind of color right here it's not necessary but i guess that would be just a little bit cool to provide in there anyhow and let's just style our form uh, i mean like our sidebar right here so now the first thing i would do is first of all let me just add like a sidebar let me get my sidebar and which is this class right here sidebar the background color i'm going to change it to like 80 80 and 80 three times color will be totally white padding i'm going to give them like top and bottom will be 10 pixel and 30 pixel left and right and also position will be fixed and top will be zero left will be zero left and also i'm going to just give a width of like 200 pixel and height will be 100 percent and now let's just write our transform or translate to the x-axis and minus 200 pixels and now let's just part our transition of like transform 0.3 seconds is in and out and now let's just write our z index 
500. So once we save our file, and now here you can see that's gone because we set this property to like minus 200. So if you change that, so here you can see it will now look like this. You know what? I'm going to comment this line of code for now. So now let's just style that a bit. So for that, we are going to be writing first of all, let's just select this URL which is inside this sidebar. So normally just write like sidebar URL. And now let's just remove that padding. Padding will be zero. Margin will be also zero. And now list style will be also none. So that's that. Now the next, I guess I missed something. All right, so now I don't. Now let's just select this LI which is inside this URL. So now I'm going to write a sidebar UL LI and now inside there, I'm going to just write like a margin of 20 pixel top and bottom, zero pixel left and right. And this is how it looks like. And now the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to just write sidebar UL LI and now let's just select our anchor tag, which is right here like this one. Okay. So let me just add a color to like um, totally white and also text decoration will be none. Save it. And this is how it looks like right here. And the final thing which I'm going to do, like once we have our mouse over to it, so you want to just change the background color. And I mean, like, I want to provide a border bottom to it. So I'll just write like um, sidebar. And now let's just select UL, LI, and anchor tag. And once we hover over it, so you want to just write a text decoration of underline, save it. And now if you just hover our mouse over to it, so this is how it looks like right here. Okay. Now the next thing which you have to do is to just. Um, yeah these icons right here let me just select my sidebar and inside this sidebar we have this menu and then we have fa bars okay so now let me just show you that we have a sidebar and inside the sidebar we have menu and then we select this fa bars right here okay so now here we are going to be just checking selecting that to display a block okay and now let's just duplicate that okay and now let's just change this one to once it's active, so this class will be for JavaScript as well. So once this class is active, so you want to just write like, um, you know what, this one will be a display of, and now this one will be display of none. Okay, so once that sidebar is active, so the next thing which you have to do is let's just duplicate one more time. And once the sidebar is active, and we want to just select our sidebar part times, okay, and this one, be now set to block okay so this clause can be used in javascript once we jump into javascript so now let's just get our menu right here so that button let me just write a menu change the background color to be crimson you can choose whichever kind of color you like but the main focus of this project is on this menu so that's why i give them like attractive color so whenever just someone visit to our site so this will be the first thing they would see all right, so now let's just change this one to FFF. Border will be none. And now let's just write like font size of 16 pixel. It's already 16 pixel. <laughs> Position will be absolute. And now let's just write a top will be zero. Right will be just like minus 30 pixel. And also, let me just duplicate that. And instead of minus, we would just go with a plus, And this will be the height. And now let's just duplicate it and this one will be the width and now let's just write an outline of none save it and this is how it looks like currently i don't know i guess i missed something yeah i know i missed something so that was that now let me just duplicate it and it will be now equals to fa times and this one will be now set to none save it okay and this is how it looks like so just open it so then if you click on it so you want to activate this one like bars and here you can see all of these classes right here okay so now let me just um uncomment this line of code and let me just write one more code which will be like for javascript as well so now let me just write if our sidebar is active so then you want to just write like transform of translate and then it will be now set to zero okay so here you can see everything is looking a bit cool and it should be translate x and now let's just write this active right here not here but here now let's just give my class of active as well so here you can see it will now open it if you just remove this active from there it will now just close there right here okay so we are just done with the html and also with the css so now let's just jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity
So the first thing we would do is that we would get our menu button and let me just write like document.get element by id of just a menu. So let me just duplicate it three times. The second one will be sidebar and the third one will be just a content. Okay. And now let's just change this to like sidebar and also this one to content. Let me just write a menu button and add event listener on it. And once we click on that button, so we want to just provide a classes. Let me just find call this function inside there we are going to be selecting sidebar and we want to just toggle the class of active on it and also the content or class list and also toggle this uh, active class as well so once we save it and now if i just click on it so here you can see all right so this just happened a bit uh quickly now let's just forward a bit of transition to it i guess i forgot transition somewhere sidebar is having a transition because we have this smooth effect right here but now let's just select or content. Where is my content? And it should be transform. Come on, man. Save it. Now, if I just click on this button, so here you can see this smooth animation right here. Okay. So we are now totally done with our project right here. So I guess that was it about today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.